dear students today uh, is the uh, 4.1.3 in the griffith textbook that is a uh, topic is alignment of polar molecule yesterday we have discussed the pole difference between the polar and non polar molecule and uh, now let us see if we place this polar molecule in an electric field what will be the force and torque that is the force and torque experienced by a polar molecule when placed in a uniform electric field there are two cases first one is when placed in a uniform electric field second one is when placed in non uniform electric field okay now let us address the first question that is um, the force and torque experienced by polar molecule when placed in when placed in uniform electric field okay this is the first we are going to discuss actually polar molecule is a molecule uh, which has the permanent dipole moment even in the absence of the electric field okay and in now we keep any uh, this is a dipole that is one minus q charge and a plus q charge separated by a distance d this is the distance between the two charges kept in a uniform electric field this electric field is different color field here the thing is the, the applied electric field is uniform uniform electric field means the strength of the electric field is constant the dipole see first one what is the force total force acting experienced by this dipole in this uniform field uh, we know that uh, the positive charge of this dipole experiences a force along the direction of the applied electric field that force direction is along this is the force experienced by the positive charge this qe the direction of the force is along the direction of the applied electric field the force on the negative charge is just opposite of the electric field that is f minus e is equal to minus of qe okay now the net force on the field force sorry force on the dipole force on the dipole f e c is equal to force on the positive charge plus force on the negative charge that is force on the positive charge is q e force on the negative charge that is minus minus q e total force c is equal to zero that is this is because the electric field is uniform that is why both have the equal magnitude but in opposite direction therefore the net force on this dipole in a uniform electric field is zero but that, uh, there is a one point that you have to note down that is these two forces f plus and f minus are equal and opposite forces and are acting at different points on the dipole that is let us write down but the two equal and opposite forces are acting at different points of the dipole the 
reference points of the dipole. Therefore, actually situation is like uh, this one. This is our dipole. One force is acting around this direction. One force is acting around this opposite direction. Therefore, that will constitute a torque. Torque means that this dipole will start to rotate like this one. Okay. It constitutes a torque to constitute a torque. This uh, let us note down uh, this torque can be represented by either tau or n in Griffith textbook they have used uh, he used the notation n now the torque can be defined as the uh, one of the force one of the force into perpendicular distance okay now see the case if this force were not acting at different points instead of one point let us say if this force is acting uh, suppose uh, this is our dipole and if this force is acting at this point one force is along the that is um, this direction another force is along the this direction such a force because of this force the body will not rotate the dipole do not rotate why means if the force is acting at the same point then the net force at this point will be zero both will be equal and opposed here the force these two forces are acting at different points that is why which means if the uh, force is acting here one force is available, one force is available in this direction, but such a kind of force, net force on this body will be zero. Since the force is at different points, it will start to rotate. It will experience a torque. That torque is defined as one of the force, magnitude of the one of the force into perpendicular distance between these two force. Perpendicular distance between these two force means one force is along this direction, other force is along this direction. The perpendicular distance between these two force can be drawn like this. That is, if I give a, a name, that is, this is the point A and this is the point B. And this distance is a perpendicular distance. That is, uh, uh, this, this is the perpendicular distance. This dipole makes an angle theta with the field. Now, uh, to find out the torque, torque is equal to one of the force. One of the force means the magnitude of the one of the force that is QE into multiplied by the perpendicular distance. Perpendicular distance. Now, what will be the perpendicular distance? If you see this triangle, here I can find out that is if I take sine theta, sine theta is the opposite side that is perpendicular distance divided by hypotonus. Hypotonus is nothing but dipole length. Therefore, this perpendicular distance is equal to d sine theta. Now, uh, if I write this uh, torque tau E C is equal to, that is, is Q E into D sine theta. Okay. Actually, this I can uh, write this equation as Q D E sine theta. We know that Q D is nothing but the dipole moment P. Therefore, our tau E C is equal to P E sine theta. This is the torque experienced by the dipole. Okay. 
the torque tau is p e sin theta p e sin theta i can write this p e sin theta like p cross e where p is the dipole moment okay actually uh, that is the effect of the torque the, the torque is to make the dipole moment parallel to the applied electric field that is the uh, this is the this was our dipole minus q and plus q we applied an electric field along this direction the applied electric field the applied electric field exert a force on these two charges then the effect of torque is uh, the to the that is the effect of torque is to make the dipole moment parallel to the field now my dipole is here after switching on this field field will goes in this direction then the dipole will start to rotate okay here uh, the point that we had noted down is that is uh, this torque u is about the center of the dipole this is the center about this center this dipole is rotating this is the center after switching on the field the dipole is starting to rotate along this direction okay. this is the center of the dipole therefore we can note down this torque one can use n also uh, notation torque this torque this is the torque about the center of of the dipole okay now this is the torque experienced by the dipole when placed in uniform electric field the field strength is uniform now let us address the second case the second case was the force and torque on a polar molecule when placed in when placed in non uniform field okay here the difference is that our dipole is placed in a non uniform field the applied field is not uniform this is the uh, applied field is not uniform means some places the field strength is uh, higher larger and some places the field strength is small the okay in such a in such in such a field we place our dipole plus q char minus q char separated by a distance d here also this dipole makes an angle theta to this electric field this is the direction of the electric field and the dipole moment is along the small plus minus p to p the previous picture also the minus uh, minus 2 plus is the direction of the dipole moment now what will be the difference when compared to the previous case okay. actually here the thing is the field is non uniform that is in non uniform field in non uniform field the two forces see if the field is non uniform the field strength at the point uh, if i label this is a point a and this is a point b the field strength at the point b is larger and the form and uh, the field strength 
at the point A is uh, this is weaker, this is stronger field here. Because of this stronger field, this charge experiences larger force, this charge experiences a smaller force but in opposite direction. Therefore, in non-uniform field, the two forces, the two forces, F plus, F plus is the, this is the F plus force and this is, this is the F minus force. This F plus, the force is F plus and F minus will not be equal. These two forces will be different because the strength of the electric field is different. That is, they do not cancel here. They do not cancel each other. Fine. Therefore, the net force acting on the dipole, net force acting on the dipole F is equal to F plus F minus. This is equal to Q. Q E plus plus force on the negative charge is minus Q E. This is the uh, uh, here the for the field strength since the field strength is different um, at the plus Q charge and the minus Q charge. I have used notation E plus and E minus. These two field strength are not equal. Therefore. Since the Q is common, take it outside E plus minus E minus. This force, I can, this difference in this field can be written as DE. This DE is the total differential field. Total differential field. Total differential field. That is the total differential field is nothing but the difference between the electric field at the point A and at the point B. Okay. Here I am finding in a substitution for this DE. You may be uh, knowing this relation that is DE is equal to gradient E dot dr. Uh, okay, maybe uh, you may, if you cannot, uh, if you don't know how to uh, derive this relation, for the moment I will just uh, within a few minutes, uh, within a minute, I will derive this equation. Okay, let us see what is the proof of uh, this relation. That the electric field can be written as E x y z, differentiate on both sides. differentiate both side that is DE is equal to since this electric field depends upon three variable partial differentiation is required dou E by dou X DX plus dou E by dou Y DY plus dou E by dou Z DZ now I uh, I can write this right hand side of this equation in another way. That is, I can write this is dou e by dou x i cap plus dou e by dou y j cap plus dou e by dou z k cap dot. I am writing this is a dot product of uh, two vectors. This result is the dot product of two vectors. This is the dx i cap plus dy j cap plus dz k cap. This is nothing but the gradient operator. And this is the, uh, you know that r is is equal to vector r. x i plus y j plus z k. If so, this will be dr. dr will be dx i plus dy j plus dzk 
therefore I can write I can replace this equation as dr therefore de is equal to this quantity is nothing but delta uh, sorry um, del e this can be written as a, uh, del e dot dr okay. now uh, in the present case our dipole plus q and minus q the separation we have noted down this is a dipole length is d therefore instead of dr i am going to write this is say d therefore our de de is equal to del e dot d now we have proved this relation now let us come back to the our discussion part actually we were reached at this point de is equal to del e dot d on the dipole when placed in non-uniform electric field that is this quantity now we are going to replace this de by del e dot d therefore our force this force f this force i can write q instead of de del e dot d Now, uh, this force we obtained is F E C is equal to Q del E dot D. Here I slightly uh, rearrange this term. I can write this equation as a Q D dot del e or q d dot del e this q d is nothing but our dipole moment p therefore the force on the dipole can be written as p dot del e okay. this is the total force on the dipole total force on the dipole if the electric field is non-uniform okay. now we have seen the total torque total torque can be written as tau or n is, is equal to you can use the two notation either to or n that is p cross e uh, this torque that is tau e is, is equal to p cross e is the torque about the center of the dipole if the electric field is non uniform see this is a electric field strength and we kept our dipole here minus q plus q okay. if the field strength is larger here means this force f plus will be larger the field strength at this point is smaller therefore f minus will be smaller however there will be a rotation rotation about at the uh, center torque this dipole will experience a torque and the, the dipole will start to rotate okay actually when we can conclude that this torque is about the center of the dipole this this torque is about the center of the dipole in non uniform electric field 
Now, if you want to calculate the torque at any point on this dipole, in the non-unit firm electric field, maybe this point, this point, not at the center, but at any point, let us say that a torque will be of this quantity. N, or you can write torque to top, is equal to this the, uh, the torque at the center will also, always will be there that is big cross E plus there will be the normal torque R cross F will also be there this torque this torque is uh, torque about any other point not at the center this is the torque at any other point on the 